Hello, my brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining me. The scriptures make it clear that the church and the members of the church are the body of Christ and that Christ, it is written in the New Testament, is the head. Okay, I'm going to ask you a simple question having said that. Does your head have a different name from your body? Do you call your body by a different name other than what your head is? First of all, the head and the body are one. I'm not here to separate Jesus from the church. I'm not here to separate the head from the body, but I will boldly declare to you the truth. And Jesus said, I am the truth. The head and the body have the same name. Do you understand that? So when I teach and I say, is your name written in the book of life? There is no other name by which you will be saved. There is no other name under heaven. No other name under heaven by which you will be saved. And you will be saved if your name is in the book of life, other than Jesus Christ. And if you are the church, you are his body. And his body and his head have the same name. So, of course, your name is written in the book of life. It's written on the title page. And that's what you tell them when you get there. He said, I am the Lord God. There is no other God. We, oh, that's fine. We believe that. But we don't believe the rest of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 9. Because he wasn't done in that verse. I'm the Lord God. There is no other God. And there is none else. And there's none like me. Like him is not him. If I give you something that's like chocolate, I say here, this is like chocolate. Is it chocolate? like him? Why is there none like him? He answered that in verse 46. He said, because there's none else. There's none else. That is the truth. He is the truth of what you are. And he is the head and you are the body. And the head and the body don't have different names. You don't come in this world and tell somebody, oh, well, you can call my head this name and my body this name. Separate names, different names. Now, I will also tell you the same in the same token that your name, whatever you are called in this world, actually does belong to him. Because I've told you, the Bible says that all things were made by the Son of God. So that includes that thing you've been calling your name. And it says that all things were created by him. And it says all things were created for him. So your name in this world, of which the God of this world is Satan, your name belongs to him, to Jesus Christ, because it was created for him, not you. See, I'm not here to make you equal with God. I'm here to let you know the truth, that God is the truth of who you are. And that is the eternal truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now, I haven't been denying that about you or about anyone. Have you been denying that? then you have fallen for the carnal, sensual mind. The sensual mind relies on the five senses, and thus is the flesh mind, the carnal mind. It is devilish. And the devil lies and says, you are separate from God. You are not separate from God. You never have been. That's why he knows every thought you think. He knows everything you feel. In fact, everything you feel was not created for you. Everything you feel was created by him and for him. In fact, that lifetime you're living right now, that was created for him, not you. That's why he stands at the door and knocks. Because your body that you are in is a temple of God. So he stands there and he knocks. Did you admit that that is his temple? Or are you saying that the truth of you that is in you, the truth of you that's in you is you and not him. He stands at the door and knocks again. He wants you to admit that your temple was not made for you. It was made for him and that he is the truth of who you are. Again, some people have attempted to twist what I teach and have said, you are teaching that men are equal to God. Well, I'm not teaching that men are equal to God. I am teaching that men are not the truth that God is. And God is the truth of what men are. But men are in denial and think they are the truth of what they are. That's why the scriptures say there is no truth in them. Because they have sought to supplant the truth that is in them. By saying they are the truth. So you are in your temple? You are in your body? And that's your temple? 
That is not your temple. Your temple, your body, that thing you've been calling your body is made for the Son of God. That's who it really belongs to. Have you admitted that? If you have not admitted that, then you have not admitted him. And so he stands there and knocks and waits for you to admit. And your name is in the book of life. But if you reject your name is in there, then you've rejected his name. There is no other name given under heaven by which you will be saved again. Even though your name belongs to him, it is the name of Jesus Christ that will save you, not a name that belongs to him. Now, your name does belong to him, so your name is a name of Jesus Christ. Have you admitted that? That's step number one. Your name was not created for you. It was created by him, the Bible says, because all things were, including that thing called your name again. And it was created again for you? No, for him. So you admit that. Say, my name was not created for me, God. It was created for you. Do you understand? And Jesus Christ is God because it says every knee shall bow. And I say this for the Latter-day Saints who still really don't believe Jesus Christ is God. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord God. So we took the Jesus Christ of the New Testament right there and connected him to the Lord God that is of the Old Testament. And what did the Lord God of the Old Testament, Yahweh, Jehovah, what did he say he is? He said, I'm the Lord God. There's no other God. And there's none else and there's none like me. So I, I'm here with the good news. The, the good news is the gospel. I am telling you that your name is in the book of life because your name's right on the title page. Because the head and the body go by the same name. His body doesn't go by a different name. Because the head and the body are one. Again, there needs to be an opposition in all things, an opposite. Quote, more than one, close quote. Look at that, more than one. Look in it, what will you find is opposite, not more than one. And that one is God. And he said, I'm the Lord God, there's none else. And that's what Satan hates. He wants you to believe there's something else, someone else besides God. Even in time and space, all time and space is made of God because it's made by him and for him and is his. There is not anything other than God. God is the ultimate truth. Ultimate means last. Jesus said, I'm the last. And he said, I'm the truth. It's been the whole truth and nothing but the truth the whole time, even when we've been in denial of it in this world. Again, so the head and the body have the same name. Just as you don't have a different name for your head than you do your body. And I'm not here again to separate the body from the head. I'm not here to be Ed Christ. His body is named Jesus Christ, and so is his head. And they are one. They are two. They are one. See, I didn't deny that there is more than one. There is the body and the head. That is multiplicity. What is the truth of more than one? Not more than one. And there's just one name, Jesus Christ. So that's the good news, the gospel, that you and God are one. Now, God will not deny that. Will you? Have you been? Have you been tempted because of your five senses to deny it in anyone at any time for any reason? Then you're the one who has denied it, not God. No matter what you see in this world, all that you see and perceive in this world, you perceive through your five senses. The five senses are not the truth. Now, it's true you have five senses, but your five senses don't save you. The truth does. And that is the truth you come to know through the root of logic. And the root word of logic is log. That's why in the Greek Bible in the John chapter 1, he's called the logos, the word, the root of all logic, the word. That all is one and that one is God and there is none else. That's why he's perennially clean and ever clean and he's never tarnished. He's never dirtied because the truth is all is one and that is God and he is clean. And it's time, man, for you to come home to that truth and stop denying it. I love you. Thank you for watching these videos. Please share them if they are uplifting to you.